Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is June 10th, and right now we're looking at the mid-level water vapor loop. Check out the spin in the atmosphere here, as you can see what's going to be enhancing our thunderstorm potential across the state for the next three days or so. And we'll take a look at the extended forecast as well. So it looks like troughing may not be done here for much of the West Coast and North America. We'll take a look at that in some more detail here in a moment. Now this is looking if you want a nice affordable home weather station with a nice smartphone app here. Click on the link below to save 10% off and this is something interesting that it does it showed me that it's rained for about 100 minutes at my house it knows that because it has a haptic rain gauge and it can sense when the raindrops start so a, another nice feature of that weather station now looking at the national weather service los angeles talking about showers and thunderstorms this weekend southwest california you can see for the higher terrain mainly these higher amounts will be falling but you can get some isolated uh, big wind gusts there as well dangerous lightning nice graphic here from the national weather service los angeles they put this out on twitter this morning as well with a shower are potentially increasing here the shower activity as we go through this morning into the early afternoon here we go for national weather service san diego talking about some of these precipitation amounts i know we will take it during the month of june right it's pretty unusual to get some measurable rainfall here but this will be nice for some of the higher terrain a little bit less for the coastal regions here this is national weather service hanford this does include some of the i-5 corridor so watch out a few strong thunderstorms are possible and this will be mainly for the afternoon and evening hours now, this is just a reminder. I showed this yesterday as well. This is El Nino years. And you can see that one of those El Nino years was quite dry. And some of them are kind of closely clustered here for just you know, kind of average rainfall. But then you can see some of these El Ninos do kind of get highlighted in these wetter years here. And you can see it's a less of a chance for La Nino. So when we're talking about El Nino, it's just a probability. It doesn't mean that this El Nino can't lock us into one of these just kind of average rainfall years here. But those El Nino years do have that potential for more wet years here. So that's what we're talking about when we generally think of El Nino being a little bit wetter than normal for much of California. Looking at day one thunderstorm outlook, this does include almost all the way down to the Los Angeles metro here. Day two, something similar. The Sierra Nevada is going to be under the gun here the next three days or so for thunderstorm potential. And this is looking at the trough at 18,000 feet, 500 millibars. And you can kind of see it spinning around the state here. And you notice as it tries to move off to the east here, it doesn't really quite fully do so. It leaves some troughing behind there. And then look what happens as we go on to the extended. As this system rides over the top of this ridge, this ridge retrogrades over the Pacific. And we start to drop this trough down across some of the West Coast of North America. Again, as we go way off into the extended, it's kind of fantasy land at this point, but it's something worth watching. GFS and SOML members are showing something similar. So we got some model agreement there. This is looking at 500 millibars, 18,000 feet. and kind of see the turning in the atmosphere, a nice visual depiction of what's going on across the state there. And then we get that trough elongating, stretching out, and kind of leaving behind some general troughiness here across the state. Should suppress temperatures a bit below average here as we go into the extended. Now, taking a look here, this is about 5,000 feet. This is temperature anomaly. So I want to show you what's going on here. You can see the low kind of hanging around as we go on into the weekend, early next week. Things warm up for a bit across Pacific Northwest. And you can see the arrival of this next trough as it tries to drop down across this ridge. You can really see this big ridge retrograde out over the ocean, which would allow this troughing to set up over the state of California. Look at that below average temperatures across much of the West Coast. This is 10 days out. So take it with a grain of salt. It is fantasy right now, but it's something we are watching. This is looking at composite reflectivity, what the Doppler radar may look like here over the next few days. Put that into motion. You can see these thunderstorms. Some of these are going to be strong and dump some pretty good rain amounts across some of the higher terrain, including Nevada here. And you can see some of that shower activity moving into the Los Angeles metro, Southern California, potentially even as well. So I can't rule out a stray shower down there. But again, mainly for the higher terrain. Now, as we go through Sunday, you can kind of see the spin in the atmosphere here. And again, some of the higher terrain of Southern California, Central California, Sierra Nevada is going to be under the gun for some potentially, you know, brief downpours, some dangerous lightning here as we go on and through Sunday. Sunday night, you can see the interesting motion on some of these storms here. Look at Northern California, Red Bluff, you know, some heavy rainfall, maybe even a severe thunderstorm associated with some of that activity here. And as we go on in through Monday, you see kind of a continuation here across the Sierra Nevada here with the redevelopment of some of those thunderstorms. This is looking at the infrared satellite imagery here, hot off the presses, the NAM 3 cam. This is just kind of an interesting look at things here. It kind of shows you what this. You know, the simulated infrared satellite imagery would look like here and you can kind of see that spin in the atmosphere and you can see these thunderstorms bubble up mainly during the afternoon hours here and kind of creep out towards the west as we go through sunday evening there and then redevelop across the sierra nevada mainly as we go through the day monday 
Now, this is two meter temperature anomaly. This is seven days, uh, an average of seven days here. And this is the European. You kind of see this general trend of being below average here as we go through June 18th, 19th, and 20th here. Now we're looking at excessive rainfall potential here with some of these thunderstorms as well across the Sierra Nevada today. This is for tomorrow. Check that out. You can see it all the way down towards the upper elevations here of Southern California, Northern California, and again, portions of Nevada. And day three, the Sierra Nevada, again, under the gun. This would be for Monday. And this is looking at daily two meter max temperature. This is national blend of models. And you can kind of see the suppression of the temperatures here. We do bounce back a little bit as we go through later next week here across some of the desert, some of the valley areas, and then maybe dropping a bit back down here if that next trough does decide to arrive. This would be June 20th. And this is six to 10 day temperature outlook issued yesterday, much of the West included in that below average signal there. This is eight to 14 day, and you can see the Southwest kind of bullseye there as well, again, issued yesterday. This is six to 10 day precipitation outlook, kind of that bullseye across from the Intermountain West here, Utah, Nevada, does include California and eight to 14 days there. And this is something I always like to look out the drought monitor here. If we scroll up a little bit, you'll see this is December 20th, 2022 to June 6th. So let's go ahead and scroll that across. It's almost like wiping the slate clean for California. Just a complete reset there on drought conditions across the state. I'll be honest, and I did not expect to see that much improvement here as we went through the winter and spring months, but you can clearly see that extreme and exceptional drought just get wiped off the map. So very good news uh, with the drought concerns there across much of the state. But anyway, yeah, we're dealing with this trough here for the next three days or so, and it's going to kind of leave behind a little bit of a trough too, then the potential arrival of another one here as we go on through the extended. We'll watch that day by day. I will be out storm chasing here for the next two or three days, but I will bring my equipment with me and I'll try to do briefings there as I'm out there daily. But anyway, hope you guys are liking these videos. I don't always get to res get to respond to the comments or click like for all of them, but I do read them. So Keep them coming. You guys are much appreciated. You guys are why this channel exists. You know, so uh, you guys are much appreciated here. And I hope you're enjoying these videos. So anyway, leave some comments, click like, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.